When you think of Jupiter, you might think of its massive size, or colorful bands of gases stretching across its face. Or you might think of the iconic storm, that huge, churning red hurricane, twice the size of Earth, that's remained a signature of our solar system's largest planet since for more than a century. This is Jupiter's great red spot, and it has captivated humans for generations. Samuel Heinrich Schwab, an amateur astronomer, saw Jupiter's great red spot for the first time in 1831. Therefore, we know the storm has been around for at least 150 years. However, it could be even older. Some astronomers believe that the Great Red Spot was the permanent storm that Gian Domenico Cassani was referring to when he wrote about it in 1665. Gian Domenico Cassani is also the namesake of NASA's Cassani mission. Even in NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's new image of Jupiter, it clearly shows Jupiter's iconic red spot. It's so brilliant that it appears white. It seems to be that the white streaks and patches are caused by sunlight, being reflected off unusually high altitude clouds. So what exactly is the Great Red Spot? And will it disappear one day? Let's find out. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is a massive storm that circles the planet in its southern hemisphere and is almost twice as huge as Earth. Winds are generally calm near the storm's center, but they may reach 270 to 425 miles per hour at its edges. Even the strongest storms on Earth, which have wind speeds of up to 175 miles per hour, travel at less than half that speed. The storm is contained by an eastward-moving atmospheric band to its north and westward-moving band to its south. Those swirling bands are also what formed the storm in the first place and have kept the storm spinning for more than a century. Jupiter lacks a solid surface, which helps explain why the Great Red Spot has lasted so long. The 70-kilometer deep sky of Jupiter is made up of layers of water ice, ammonia ice, or ammonium hydrosulfide clouds. It is thought by scientists that an ocean of liquid hydrogen exists underneath these layers. The planet's core is located under that ocean, but scientists are uncertain of Jupiter's makeup at this time. On Earth, storms begin to weaken and disintegrate as they make landfall, but because the Great Red Spot cannot make landfall, the storm may continue for an extended period of time. Observations reveal that the storm occasionally shrinks and grows, but is currently on a shrinking trend. What once was three times the size of Earth now only stretches twice our planet's diameter. Great Red Spot observations have been accurately recorded by observers since 1878. In a recent study, a group of researchers compared historical data with fresh ones from a variety of current instruments, including NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. And some experts say the storm may continue to weaken over the next 10 to 20 years, and it might even vanish. And as always, if you want to learn more about space and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.